the iconic red double-decker bus, transporting London's passengers since the 1920s. For the last decade, older models have slowly been swapped for electric versions to meet clean air targets. But London has one of the biggest bus networks in the world, so there is demand for more electric buses to join the fleet. The Chinese firm BYD is a major player in this market, supplying electric buses in partnership with Alexander Dennis since 2013. Now it's launched its own upgraded double-decker. The key selling point, greater battery power. Uniquely, this bus is the first example of us using our new blade battery in a commercial vehicle. And what that brings with it is uh, advantages of safety, performance and value for money. The bus has a range of up to 400 miles from a single charge, making it ideal for London's lengthy bus routes. So we can see here that what's really unique is that the battery is being used as a structural component within the vehicle. BYD says its design allows for more space for passengers and better temperature control for the capital's varied climate. For the end user, nothing looks any different. They see a red bus, but they're getting all the benefit of this technology. The vehicle also has a tight turning circle, handy for navigating London's narrow streets and heavy traffic. As you can see, the inside of this bus looks pretty much like your traditional London double-decker. But developers are hoping that its modern design is going to help contribute to London's cleaner air. London already has lower emissions than many other major cities, and several manufacturers contribute to the range of electric, hybrid and diesel buses. London has, you know, really high ambitions for the bus network to become zero emission by 2030. And that's going to be a hell of a lot of work. So really our work starts now, but we have a great foundation with which to push on. BYD hopes its new double-decker bus design will move from the test track to providing a passenger service by the end of this year, though the details of any deal with Transport for London have yet to be announced. Kitty Logan, CDTN, at the London Bus Museum, Surrey.